Hey, what's up back here, Ninja Kid fam? We are here with another video. It's finally here. You've been waiting for it. You've been asking for it. The Ninja Line. We've had this product for quite a while. We're going to take a look at it. Let's jump right in. So if you're new to our channel, you may want to consider subscribing. We teach you how to build obstacles. We teach you how to conquer those obstacles. We have exercise videos. We have product review videos. We have a lot going on. You may want to hit subscribe. Quick disclaimer, Slackers did send us a Ninja Line for free. That said, we are going to give you our honest opinion because if we don't give you our honest opinion, then you're going to buy a product, you're going to think it's a bad quality. If I said it's a good quality, you're not going to trust me anymore. You're not going to subscribe to my channel. You're not going to come back anymore. What's the point of that? So if you've seen one of our product review videos before, you know that we don't just get a product and review it right away. We don't actually tell you what we think of it very much until we've used it for quite a while. The slack line is in the same boat. We've had it since spring. Follow us on other social media like Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter where we post daily, by the way. Hey, no, I remember when we got it. We got it in June because we were talking with the slackers company and I said, hey, short notice, but we're actually going on vacation next week and we were wondering if we could get a slackers to go on vacation in that short time and you know what they are super cool boom sent it one thing i love about that is slackers isn't like a giant toy company that has all kinds of toys and blah blah, blah. no they're a, like a small shop that means that they're just like local business kind of feel right so there's one person wearing multiple hats right and you don't just have like a marketing team of a 10,000 people, right? So they reach out to people like me who can help them market it. Psh, awesome. Talk about a win-win situation if you ask me. Just saying. So we are pretty impressed with the opening, the product, the packaging, how it all was laid out. Smaller packaging for what's all in there. We got a few other accessories like the nunchucks, the wheels, the climbing rope. Um, so we got to experience all of those. I can tell you, the first impressions when we kind of opened this up were the quality was actually pretty on par. I, I was pretty impressed with it all. The the slack line seemed pretty rigid and strong. I love that their logo was on there. That's just kind of a nice, cool touch. Putting the little rings into the slack line is a little challenging at first. It's not horrible, but it's, you know, it's not easy. And you want to make sure you obviously do that before the string, the slack line is tightened. Because when it's tight, there's absolutely zero chance you're going to get one of those in there. Slot is not very big by design. And there's no way you can just shove a fat D-ring or triangle ring, whatever they are, through that when it's pulled tight, right? Which makes sense. It's just a double slack line, essentially. So, and then they sewed it in certain spots. So then you could put a D-ring in there and they wouldn't slide on you. It's actually a really brilliant toy. And that's why I was excited to get one and try it out. Hey. Best toy for kids 2016 winner. It's a winner. We took it with us on a vacation to Wisconsin this summer. It worked out perfect. We happened to have a tr couple trees in our backyard of the place we rented. Right in front of the lake. Be able to look out and just be on our ninja line. Travel with it. It, it was... It was awesome. It was so cool. So no joke. True story. 100% honest. I don't even know if I captured a picture of it because I was blown away. Two houses over down on the lake in this peninsula in Wisconsin. There's a ninja line set up. No joke. So I walk over there because the guy's like out trimming the shrubs or something. And he, he, he bought it for his grandkids. So when they come up to grandpa and grandma's backyard of their place up in Wisconsin... They have a ninja line to use. And they said that they love it. That was so cool. I was I was blown away that I'd never seen one before. And here when I got it, took it on vacation, I look over and there's another one. Anyway, that was kind of a fun story. So we've had it set up in our backyard for basically the entire summer. We had a bunch of kids come over and use it. It sat out in the sun and weather and rain and all that. We didn't take it down until fall. Um, so it literally sat outside nearly all summer. I don't even know if that's recommended, but I would say if you want your slack line to last forever or a long time, probably don't leave it out in the weather and elements 
for the whole entire summer. I mean, that's just, that doesn't, that makes sense, right? That's pretty easy. So you can tell our slack line is showing a little bit of weather and wear now. Nothing crazy. Uh, I was expecting almost worse. So I was fairly impressed with that. Nowhere is it starting to snag, nowhere is it starting to tear. I'm not really worried about the quality of it at all. I'm not worried about you know, hesitant to put it up again. I'm not I'm not worried about neighbors coming over and using it. So after one entire summer of use, the wear and tear seems to be holding up. So let me go through these holds. The cannonballs, they're okay. Um, now, what we're comparing it to are, you know, we've used some Rocky Mountain climbing gear holds. We've used some from Warrior Life Grips. So these cannonballs are they're just rope. They're just rope kind of tied up right so but for a little kid I, you know what it's super fun for them um so is it the top quality hold no it's not is it usable absolutely it's a little small for an adult hand i'll tell you that a lot of this stuff is kind of smaller for adults but for kid, my kids they, they seem to like it same with the rings the rings are actually so thin they almost like hurt an adult's hand when you have so much weight on a thin ring, you know, it, it, there, even though there's that little rubber grip there, um, it's still so thin, it's just, it's a lot of weight on a small pressure point for an adult. Kids, my boys don't seem to mind too much, they are just trying to get you a good product at a good price. The wheels are probably one of our favorite obstacles we have. That seems way easier than it is, because once you grab one side, the other side just flips up. And it's way more challenging than you would ever imagine, actually. The quality is built there. We like to hang on it. We like to do pull-ups on it. Sometimes I'll hang on one side and let the other side flip up and I'll do pull-ups. So I'm kind of doing offset pull-ups with it with one arm a little bit lower than the other. The wooden bars, we seem to like those a lot. Ben loved, loved, loved to do laches on those when we first got the product in Wisconsin. Um, he, he wanted to just keep backing it up and Obviously, we didn't have any pads, so I'm underneath him trying to catch him uh, as he wants to do these laches farther and farther and farther. The laches are fairly difficult when your entire bar system bounces, right? So after you let go in lache, the nature of a slack line kind of is spring-loaded and will shoot up a little bit, thus making stuff bounce. And I mean, that's, that's just the nature of a slack line. So that's a little more challenging if you ever want to try that. The rope is also pretty decent. You know, again, if you have, if you see a theme here, it's it's more for kids than adults. Okay, which there's probably not a ton of adults that are gonna buy this to use it. They're probably going to buy it for their kids. Um, but I've used it all. I've I've tested it all. In fact, I just saw on the box it says max weight 250 pounds. So there, there you go. I'm about 155, 160 pounds, and I never once felt unsafe on it but I did feel uncomfortable due to the size of the holds, as I mentioned before. So now we have to come down to, do we honestly think the product is worth it? Let me look up the price again. Oh, that's right, they have zip lines too. I kind of want one of those. 70 foot zip line, they have slack lines, you can just buy the slack line. They actually have some pretty fun stuff, you should check out the other stuff they have. Also, I want to tell you, if, if you've been to their website before, go check it out again. They just recently revamped the entire thing, actually. Uh, they did a good job. They also revamped their social media accounts, so you may want to start following them again. Make sure you uh, go give them a follow. I'll leave some links down below. Yeah, that's what I thought. $100 for a 36-foot intro kit. So with that, you get a couple cones. You get three cannonballs. <gasps> I think they may have improved the cannonballs. Oh, I see. Looks like the Pro Kit actually has better cannonballs now. That that might be worth the upgrade to the Pro Kit. Okay. So $100 for the intro kit. That gets you the two rings, the three cannonballs, you get the two bars, you get the bag, you get the slack line. 100 bucks. Do I think that's worth it? Yeah, I think that's worth it. That's a pretty fair price. You get how many holds? Five, six, seven holds. Seven holds plus a slack line and a bag for a hundred bucks. That seems like a fair price to me. 
And I, th I think you can still buy all this stuff individually as well. If you go to accessories, you can buy all the different stuff. You can buy, you know, the nunchucks. You can buy individually. You can buy the ladder. The ladder's cool. No way. I just remembered we that the ladder we actually got off of Amazon, like, before we hardly even started Backyard Ninja Kids. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Yeah, you can buy the wheel. That's 20 bucks. All in all, with the kit, the kit seems to be, like, the place to go. So there you have it. If you have more questions, I would be happy to answer any of the questions you have. Uh, make sure you're giving Slackers a follow. I'll leave the links down below to their social media. They are a super cool company, like I said. Uh, don't forget about the giveaway, Scott. Okay, so we're going to leave some details on the giveaway down below in the description. Make sure you go check that out. You're not going to want to miss that. Seriously. Again, we just want to thank before adventure for this opportunity to be able to use this product review this product tell you what we think of this product i mean that alone tells me they're a pretty cool company being able to help you guys out so there we go let us know what you think don't forget to check out down below because i want to see you guys using this too until next time you know what we do see ya Peace.